the house. Another day, more house updates to share with you guys. First of all, the countertops are in. It looks so good. It's like a white with gray marble. It looks so stunning. I especially love this, the waterfall. It looks so good. And the appliances are starting to go in. We've got the microwave, the oven. This, like, yes. Ooh, looks good. You got these barn doors. I think all the, yeah. Oh, Micah, the toilets are in. Yay. We have toilets. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> the top is in. Wow, look at that. Don't touch the forbidden water. Why is it so blue? <laughs> it's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Kind of crazy in like two more months this is where all the vlogs are gonna be which is so weird i don't even think that i've given like a proper tour yet i'm waiting to do an empty house tour to give you the full idea of what the house looks like because i feel like it's very mysterious right now because i've never ever like shown it in bits and pieces but in terms of projects that we have planned once we move in one of the bigger projects that we're currently working on is designing the fencing and the wall situation, which I am so excited about. It'll be nice to like, you know, obviously have some privacy because these are new builds. There's no fencing in between the homes and that's very important to me. So I'm excited about that. We're getting moving on that. I feel like it's been such a journey because I don't know, I don't know how to do anything. Like all of this is very new. And so permitting, drawings, I've been getting a lot of help, which is really nice from family, but that's one of the first things that we'll work on. And I also think we wanna do a few little paint projects if you've been keeping up on TikTok. I know we wanna do an accent wall in this main bedroom, like a green and then possibly like a darker beige brown. And this wall in the living room, that would look super cool just cause right now it's such a stark white and like kind of grayish, but I do love the floors. The floors I'm obsessed with. It's so crazy to see everything finally start coming together. It makes me so happy. As of right now, fingers crossed, we'll be moving in early May, possibly late April. If I've learned anything, it's that nothing goes according to plan and everything is always <laughs> like pushed back and there's always something that pops up. But I feel like it's almost done. Like I don't really know other than the finishing touches in the house. There's really not that much left to do, I think. I could be very wrong, but the landscaping is going in, the grass is starting to grow. Ooh, I'll show you the front yard. I don't know if I ever showed you this, but we have a private little front courtyard that's gated off, which is really nice. So I feel like it adds more privacy because someone can't just come up to the front door, which is very nice, but I love this little area. It's secure, it's private, it's like hidden from the street. Obsessed with that. <laughs> walk this morning but all the treadmills at the apartment gym were taken so I'm going outside groundbreaking I'm actually really excited I might try to run we'll see but I feel like it's probably better anyway to get some fresh air it's also such a beautiful day so time to go for a little hawker walk and attempt to run <laughs> I forgot that there were window washers coming today. So I'm eating breakfast and hear a thump on my window. I scream because I was caught off guard. It's men rappelling down the side of the building, cleaning it. So that was humbling. Sometimes I kind of regret these little curtain bang pieces because if you don't style them, they kind of just look. I'm getting ready. I'm going to pottery today. I'm so excited. I haven't done pottery since last year early December, which is so upsetting. That was a hobby that I was having so much fun doing. And then I feel like I just got caught up in life this year so far. So I've been paying for the membership, but I haven't been going. So I'm finally gonna go. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like that's the kind of skill that you have to practice and keep doing to like keep. There's a good chance that I kind of forgot what to do, but it'll still be fun. I feel like I haven't been very good at making time for hobbies and things 
which is not good. I definitely want to incorporate that into my life as much as I can because it's fun, it's good for me. I've said this before, but you don't have to be good at something to enjoy doing it. You don't have to be good at a sport to enjoy playing it. Don't let that stop you from doing things. And also don't let the fear of like looking stupid hold you back from having fun and doing things you wanna do. Because especially when there's like other talented potters, ceramic artists in the room, sometimes I get a little bit intimidated, but I'm like, first of all, everyone starts somewhere. And also as long as you're having fun, that's the most important thing. I'm trying to get back into my hobby girl era. I completely forgot about these pieces I had made in December. How cute. This kind of got <laughs> a little interesting shaped, but this little bowl, cute little mug. I'm really happy with how this one came out. It's quite small, but it's cute. And then these little catch-all dishes. Had genuinely nothing to do, so Mike was like, Let's just what did you call it? Shoot the cruise. He said, Shoot the cruise. Never heard of that, but oh, we're just, you've never heard of shoot the cruise. I, know, I mean, I've heard like, Let's go cruise, but like, not shoot the cruise. Never heard of shoot. The I've cruise. never heard of shoot the cruise. Have you should have heard of shoot the cruise? Surely not. <laughs> anyway, so right now we're driving to Hawaii Kai. They have a, one of like my favorite Poke Bowl places over here, and then we're probably gonna like loop around, have a little east side day. We honestly don't go to that side of the off I side of the island super often so that'll be really fun it's also the prettiest day out so have a little adventure day goods are secure got a spicy yahi bowl with sushi rice sushi rice just means it's like softer and better quality is that it no oh wait what is sushi rice <laughs> It just tastes better like i don't know what it is yeah, but they add stuff it's not just oh it has like vinegar in it right vinegar, oh, okay um... It just makes the flavor so much better. Okay, that's what sushi rice is. Never mind, I'm completely wrong. But got extra onions in it. It is so good. It was also like 40 bucks for both of them, but it's worth it for some good sushi. Also, the quality of the fish I feel like is really good and it's a really nice size. So, have that. Okay, we'll consider sushi. Oh, I, and I mean like for fish. Like for fish, I feel like that's not crazy for good quality fish. Got an orange kiss, Alani New. It's their new flavor. If you like orange Fanta, you're gonna be all over this. It's very good. We're gonna eat our poke bowls at our first date spot. Yeah, we haven't been to since then. That's crazy. Yeah. That's almost two years ago. Yeah. What? Wow. I think it'd be fun one day to do like recreating our whole entire first date. That's kind Wouldn't of that be fun? Today, right? I mean, like, we're kind of we're kind of doing that, but we got uh, a cybols. Like, I want to do like word for word, wear the same outfit, getting to know you. That would be fun. But yeah, I guess we're kind of doing that today because we're kind of doing all the same things. But this is where we went on our very first date together, which I loved because Micah planned the whole thing and I've like never had someone do that for me. So that was a very big green flag. He had like all these little activities. Oh, so no I know that really did it. And now here I am stuck in flashbacks. No, I literally do, except you were wearing Nike slides. <laughs> His style has changed. I, I made him a Birkenstocks man. <laughs> Next on our memory lane tour, Micah took a photo of me sitting on this little tree over here. That's when he slipped on these rocks, so we're gonna <laughs> recreate the photo. This was my POV. That's crazy! So we drove to the east side, and then it was kind of cloudy over there, so we're back in Hawaii Kai. We're also, like, we randomly got, both got tummy aches. So now we're getting shaved bites, <laughs> and then we're gonna go home and watch movies. <laughs> it 
it's a special day when the TV is allowed into the bedroom. Not sure what we're gonna watch. I feel like we've been kind of in like a show slump recently. Wait, what have we been watching? Oh, we've been watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I actually really like it. It's on Amazon Prime, I think. I really like it. But other than that, we haven't really found a show that we're super addicted to in a really long time. So I don't know, we might watch a movie, might try and find a show to watch. If you have any shows that you love, comment them down below. Yeah, we don't usually put the TV in here. It's a treat. It's a nice cozy vibe. Currently on the reading lineup, I just finished Frieda McFadden's Do Not Disturb. This is the first, not really horror, but like suspense mystery book that I've read in a while because I was reading romances to get me back out of a reading slump. And then I finally got to read this, which I love this author so much. I think she writes in such a captivating way. This one definitely did not disappoint. I don't think I've ever read a book from her so far that I haven't liked. Some I like more than others, but this one was pretty good. I don't think it makes it into my top three. I think my favorite one from her, like The Housemaid is such a good book, but I was still very entertained the whole time. I feel like even though I feel familiar with her writing style, I'm always caught off guard with what happens in her books. And then right now I am finally reading the third book in the Akatar series, A Court of Wings and Ruin. I'm clearly making such a big dent, as you can see. This thing is a monster book to get through. So I try to read a little bit every day, but sometimes it gets frustrating, like not feeling like you're making a dent. I feel like that's one of the most satisfying parts about reading is feeling like you're making progress, but this is becoming one of my favorite series. And so if you haven't read A Court of Thorns and Roses, if you haven't read this series yet, just know I'm envious of you and you definitely should, even if you don't think you're into fantasy because I didn't think I was, try it out. Get through the first book because the second book is so good. I feel like the first one is definitely a little bit difficult to get into just because understanding the world that the author is creating since it's a fictional world, unfortunately fictional. I feel like it takes a lot of brain power to kind of read and then picture it in your head, but it is so worth it. So that is what I'm reading right now. Oh, 